So my lab's approach is we're trying to fix the Huntington protein. We know what the mutation does to the Huntington protein, and we're trying to find small molecule compounds that will fix that at the molecular level and therefore fix everything else that cascades down to form Huntington's disease in a patient. And the way we're doing that is through robotic microscopy. We're looking at thousands of chemical compounds. Some of these are pre-approved FDA compounds that have already been seen for other diseases. Some of them are brand new compounds that have never been described for the disease. And we're literally looking at all of them. We're leaving no stone unturned. And we do this at the level of microscopes like these that work robotically. So we can put on a plate with hundreds of compounds and program the microscope to take images in every single one of those wells. Then we can use pretty sophisticated computer programs to actually see the images and score them and tell them, tell us what is different in those wells that are affected by certain uh, compounds. And if it's fixing what we see is wrong with the Huntington protein, we can then carry forth studies with other labs to look at mouse models of the disease. So we've been able to take that mutation out of humans, put it into a mouse, and the mouse gets a version of Huntington's disease. And uh, if the compound looks promising, we can talk to, to uh, drug companies about uh, starting up clinical trials.